American English American English Teach and learn American English Welcome to Teaching Tips from American English. In part two of this teaching tip topic, Melanie Brooks will examine how to create open educational resources to suit the cultural, linguistic, and academic needs of your ESL or EFL students. Welcome back, Melanie. Welcome. My name is Melanie Brooks, and thanks for tuning in to Web 2.0, Creating Your Own Materials. Let's get started. In part one of this series, I introduced you to Open Educational Resources, also known as OER. Today, I want to talk about how to create your own resources, either from scratch or by adapting other people's resources to your specific needs. There are many reasons for creating your own resources, which can include anything from an exercise or case study to something as large as an entire course or textbook. I will touch on three main reasons we might want to create our own resources. The first is that when you create your own resource, either by adapting other open source resources or creating yours entirely from scratch, you avoid the costs associated with traditional resources created by publishers who are in the business to make a profit from educational resources. The second reason is that you know your students best, culturally and linguistically, and you can create resources that fit them and their needs instead of relying on a generic one that may not be relevant to your learners. Lastly, when you create or adapt materials to your context, you can craft them with the curricular goals and academic level of your students in mind. Many educators who have become familiar with using OER in their classrooms have wanted to move to the next level of creating and sharing their own resources. I am going to show you a couple of ways that you can do that. The Merlot collection consists of tens of thousands of discipline-specific learning materials and learning exercises, together with associated comments and bookmark collections, all intended to enhance the teaching and learning experience. The Merlot Content Builder is a free web page and website development tool that is integrated into Merlot. Web pages are easily created using Content Builder's templates. These include a variety of designs, including e-portfolio structures, lesson plans, pedagogical analysis, student reflections, online courses, tutorials, presentations, community websites, and more. If you want to make something more personalized to your learners, TED-Ed provides an international platform for teachers to create their own interactive lessons. You can create yours from scratch using any YouTube or TED video, or you can adapt an interactive lesson that another educator has already created. Last week, I was in a rush to prepare a homework assignment for my listening and speaking class. So I found a pre-existing video lesson that was about four minutes long and adapted the multiple choice and short answer questions that had already been created by another teacher. It took me about 10 minutes to make a great assignment for my students. At the end, I had a personalized link and I could log on and see which students had completed the assignment and how they did. Next, the Kariki Library hosts thousands of educator vetted, openly licensed online educational materials that teachers, educators, or other professionals have created and have made freely available to others for use, reuse, adaptation, and sharing. Use what is there, adapt it for your needs, and upload your materials to share with other educators. Next, CK through 12 is a learning platform to create textbooks based on their free resources. The textbook you create can include video, audio, images, and interactivity. You can also track student progress and share lessons online. Lastly, OER Commons is a dynamic digital library and network of open educational resources. They also have three creation tools, Open Author, Lesson Builder, and Module Builder, with helpful tutorials for educators to learn how to effectively use them. With the Open Author tool, for instance, you can combine text, pictures, sounds, files, and video, and save them as openly licensed educational resources. 
Then you can share them with students and colleagues from around the world. You and everyone you share with can print and download your resource as a PDF, as well as download all included media. If you think you might want to contribute some of your work to the global teaching community, I encourage you to learn more about open licensing. A great place to start is the Creative Commons. They have some tutorials that explain the different open licenses in a simple and clear manner. In addition, they provide the tools for you to license your own work. Of course, all of this is provided for free. After you have done that, I encourage you to explore some of the sites that I shared with you. Adapt material for your own needs or create something from scratch and then share it with the global community. I look forward to seeing what you create. Summing up, today I showed you how you might create and share your own open educational resources online. Thank you for joining me today, and please be sure to check out part one of the series where I give an introduction to open educational resources. Take care. To check out other great teaching tip videos, be sure to subscribe to our American English YouTube channel. You can find resources for teachers on the American English website by clicking on the link listed here. And if you haven't already, be sure to like us on the American English for Educators Facebook page.